Okay, you guys, so we're starting this video off with a Amazon haul. My girlfriend already opened the box just to make it like easier. I think they oh my I'm God. switching over media. I wish you guys saw her face. Wait, I'm gonna show you guys the one we have. So you wanna switch it? I'm switching them. Okay, let me go grab it. We this is the one we have now. Back. We can just use the new one for garlic and peppers. This one? Yeah. Okay, like she wants infused oil. Yeah, she wants to do like infused oil. So this is just a little, you know, you guys. Isn't this the cutest thing? And then this goes in there. And then you just pour. There's something else in the box. And I don't know if you guys know this, which I'm sure you guys do. I won't be staying here forever. We're actually going to be moving out of state. <laughs> and it's like all of these things we would buy then to like start a new place together. Like I moved in here with a completely other girlfriend. We fought. I will fight you. So we're finally now like getting rid of old, bringing in new to create a life together. And we both really like organizing. We both have like pretty much the same aesthetic. We're just getting it all done now. This on the counter is not aesthetic, but this is, oh. it says dishes. So you put the soap in there and it'll look cute on your counter. Maybe I need to just explain that. Dish soap. <laughs> <laughs> and then, no, make fun of me. I love you. So, isn't that cute? <laughs> I love. I'm gonna put some of that now. Oh, you are? Yeah. She's ready to use it now. Here we go. We are starting the dish soap process. I want you guys to see something. She's making bread. Birdie does not let anybody hold her. I don't know her. But she's upset. Look at this. My girlfriend and these fur babies, it's a, it's a beautiful sight. Because my girlfriend's special to me and these animals are my actual life. But yeah, they're my actual life. I'm looking like a hot mess. Um, should I tell them that I... You want to. <sighs> so let's have a story time. But I'm sick, so. As you guys know, I have excoriation disorder and I pick my skin. That's why I have all this happening. I saw someone in the comments mention like, what in the world is this? So I was putting away clean dishes and I don't know what happened, but like the corner of the door of the cabinet, like just went scrape, but my skin was like hanging from the cabinet. It was literally disgusting. So that's what happened there. And sometimes it's worse than others. I've been suffering with like really bad anxiety lately. So that doesn't help. And, um, so I do have some areas on my leg that I do pick and I cannot control it. That's why it's called excoriation. It's so hard to say disorder because you literally can't control it. It's part of the OCD family and I wish that I could control it. I'm having a hard time. Long story short, um, I have cellulitis again and a lot of people are like, why are you getting it so often? It's because of that. Um, I do, you know, keep myself clean. I shower daily. La, you are la. That has nothing to do with it. I promise it does not. Um, you can be the cleanest person in the world and still get cellulitis, unfortunately. And it's easier for people to get it once they've already had it. So since, you know, first time I ever got it, I was 16. So since I've already had it now multiple times, plus, you know, I got lymphedema and that's, you know, where I get my cellulitis is my lymphedema leg. Lymphedema? Lymphedema. I can't because it's lymphedema. I don't know what to do, but like, this is how my foot normally looks. Like, fat, chunky foot. Like, and then this one is like this. It's really bad. A few months ago, I was getting up off the bed and I felt the bottom of my stomach and it was lymphedema. I've had time to kind of come to terms with this. A week later, I noticed it in my right leg. Like I know from experience everything about cellulitis because I've had it twice. It was both times in high school. The second time I actually was hospitalized because I was like literally on the verge of death. My weight does play a big role, but skinny people do get cellulitis. So I need to make that known as well. So I went to the ER, had a horrible bladder infection. Okay, this is laugh. I woke up the next day and my whole bottom of my leg was super red, like hot. And I knew exactly what it was. I knew exactly what it was right off the bat. Cellulitis. The shivering, the fever, it wasn't because of my bladder infection. That was a coincidence. It was because I had cellulitis and it was growing. I had a fever, like shivers, the whole thing. But surprisingly, I didn't puke this time. So I'm like really glad about that. I am sick, currently on antibiotics. Today's day three of me having cellulitis. I didn't want to share it, but it's like, you know what? You guys want me to be more... I feel like I already am super vulnerable in my videos, but you guys want that. You guys want to to know like more about my life and stuff and i wasn't gonna share it's the truth and if you see me chilling in bed that is why and this is the third day of just chilling in bed and i absolutely hate it it definitely reminds me of bed bound days like the first day it was great it was like oh i don't have to do anything 
but now I'm just like what do you guys think about that over it <laughs> like I see things around the apartment I want to do I, I miss my walking I was walking daily um it was actually the last time I walked which I filmed for you guys I noticed while walking even a little bit before walking like my leg was hurting so bad and I was like yep I know exactly what this is and then slowly it got red anyways I'm rambling at this point but that's what I'm going through so yay me it's actually my girlfriend's lunch break right now so we're gonna like play Mario Party so Mario Party bye okay you guys so I figured while I'm stuck doing nothing I could be a little productive and go through all of these lipsticks so I'm gonna just be laying them on my bed I think I'm just gonna like color coordinate them I guess would be the first option I don't really know we'll see what I decide okay oh this is my leg by the way Oh, it's a massive leg. Okay. Like, in some of these I've had for so long. This is probably, like, one of the most longest one I've ever had. Easily four plus years. That's a tart, so that's, like, automatic trash. This is one of my newer ones. ColourPop Lippy Sticks. Oh, okay. This one's broken. So that's gonna go in the garbage. So far, that's all I've gotten rid of. So I went into Myers and, um... It was probably like 11 p.m. at night and I bought almost like one of their lipsticks and like every brand. Um, I spent over $400 on lipsticks. There was at least 100. It was probably the craziest thing I've ever done besides buying like over a thousand graphic novels in just like a few weeks span. So speaking of Marilyn Monroe, on Netflix, they have a new series, a documentary called The Unheard Tapes. And it's about Marilyn Monroe. And I am so excited to watch it. Okay, so I found one I want to try. Like, it's this purpley color with a bunch of glitter. And I'm just over here wondering why I bought it to begin with. I've never tried it, so. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I'm keeping it because it also smells good. And I think with a good, like, face of makeup on, it might actually look really good. Okay, so update. I've gone through every single one. These are my garbage. But then all these are my maybes. So it's getting a lot darker in here, so don't mind the lighting. But this type of color is not good for my lips because my lips are so small. Look. It, like, makes them look like two red lines just, like, across my face. Just, like, chilling. Just, like, I hate it. So this is definitely a no-go. Love a pink lip. I'm not going to lie. With, like, an all-black outfit is, like, one of my most favorite looks on myself. But this one? Ooh. Oh my god, this lighting. I look so crazy in this lighting. Mwah. I would love to do a giveaway, but obviously I wouldn't give the ones that I've used. I have a lot that I've never opened, but I feel like a lot of them are expired and I would hate to give you guys expired makeup, so I'm sorry. I do want to do a giveaway though, and I'm kind of excited. And these are the ones that I kept. There is still quite a few but not like a ton these are just the longer ones and then these are the regular ones <laughs> hopefully that makes sense you know amberisms emotional see through your flaws because i know that you got so much more to give you made a real mess but i miss you though because i can go to sleep when i'm alone again <laughs> 